welcome back to editing layers 2 we have successfully gone through scale text title grid now we are moving to line and text so the same way we can start with bottom and if we want to show the line so if you for some reason you don't want to show you can take it off but usually you want to show the line if for some reason you don't want to show you can take it off so that is bottom and you can so show you can change the color of the border lines to any color you can change the thickness you can so let's try color as well let's try blue and then you can change the axis position you can play with this one then you have your major ticks so do you want it in or out or in and out so let's say if you choose in and out you have the major ticks popping in and out if you choose in you have a major ticks coming in and you can also change the color for that one maybe you want this color for this so that is what makes origin interesting you can keep your major text out but let's say we want it in and let's choose let's say this color then everything comes in and if you want to do same for the top you just check this and there you go you have it in here so you can also come to the other side and do all these changes I'll leave these two out because there's not much I want to show over there. The next one is breaks. So you remember you can have a plot and maybe you want to break a section. So let's say I want to show from 10 to somewhere like 22. So let's, let's close this and maybe replot let's replot this again to make it interesting and then move to 10 to 22 on the horizontal and apply okay now we want to break let's say this is what we want to show but for some reason we don't need the space for anything so this is um, let's change the let's change the values to maybe two and then and then apply so we don't need maybe the information between 16 and 19 oh yeah 16 and 19 so we want to break it off then you can come to break and you choose the horizontal and you go to details you go to add and you can choose from 16 to 19 sometimes it kind of detects so you see when we came in it was kind of detecting something but and when you apply you see it's broken from there and you can kind of adjust this for yourself once you leave it and play with these values as well so it's it's quite interesting what you can do with origin so you can just go to okay so you have it in here so if for some reason you want to change it you can just double click and change the numbers in there and you can have multiple breaks so you can come in again and let's say you want to break from nine or maybe yeah maybe nine to ten no wait. you're gonna break from 10.5 to 11 just a little break to demonstrate 10.5 to 11 you can hit apply and you just you have a small break in here and you can hit okay and there you go so there are many things that you can do but you should have added so i think that was what i left out so you should have been um add a new one and we can have our 15 
to I think it was 19 let's just stick with 19 and then add so you have three different breaks oh yeah so you can delete this one then so okay so now you can see them showing in here and you can do same for vertical as well and come back in and edit it so that will be it for breaks which is useful if you have kind of a huge data and you have like space in between them and you won't use it for anything and you want your plot to be close enough you can break for whatever and if you remember we did rags so if you want to add rags to your plot you can go to show and just add and you can add rags you can go through this and edit your plot and add rags which we did previously in in i think it was line plot if i'm not mistaken so that is basically what you want to do so to end editing layers what i want to do is just this was a demonstration but i want to show you what i typically do if i have this data so i go to plot and i go to line then i start with scale and i choose the region of my interest so let's say i choose 10 and then that's 40 and hit ok on the horizontal and i come to the vertical and i choose minus 500 to let's say you can keep it at 7000 hit apply i like using apply as i go so i can see what i need and i can also choose the thicks, the minor thicks, maybe two instead. And we can keep this to five. So it becomes more interesting. Yeah. And when I'm done with this, I quickly move to, I don't use grid, but you can, you know how to do grid now. So I start with bottom, choose black, maybe thickness of three and in and in and hit apply so everything comes in and i do same for the top comes in and i go to the left side just choose same three in in and hit apply comes in and you do same for the other side which will enclose this so you have kind of something nice you hit okay and let's say this is intensity so what you can also do is you can remember that you can come in here to thick labels or maybe title and rename each side so let's say the bottom you can name it in here but what i like is because i just label two sides i can just come in here and say this is this is let's say angle and you can add your units so you have the unit is 2 theta the way to do theta i use control m and it brings up about this and you have to fish out for the sign that you're looking for and you set and there you go and this is intensity So you can just type intensity and because this is intensity and if you don't need it, you can just select it and delete it and keep this side. You can edit this using, you can just select it and you can edit it, maybe bold, you can change the font. If you want to add the instance, you can do that. Add colors, you can also just select it and it becomes easy to change. So you have something like this to work with. So I just want you to try and do what I did. And in the next lecture, we will work on layer properties, how to also customize your plot itself.
and not the whole AI itself but the plot as well so in in the next lecture stay tuned we'll work with this that we have so see you in the next lecture